Number 54. What is the ratio of the strength of the strong nuclear force to that of the electromagnetic force? All right, so let's just take a look at the table. So we're comparing the nuclear to the electromagnetic. Therefore, our ratio is the force of the strong nuclear to that of the force of the electromagnetic. So here, uh, just look up the numbers in this table right from your textbook. So it's strong nuclear is one, has a value of one in terms of relative strength. The electromagnetic is 10 to the minus two. And therefore, when I do the division, this becomes 10 to the positive two. All right. So basically, uh, the strong nuclear force is 100 times stronger than the electromagnetic force. All right. Uh, but if you notice the range here, right, the range of the strong nuclear force, it acts at very, very small differences. Uh, but meanwhile, the range of the electromagnetic force is essentially infinite. So that may play a role in terms of distances, uh, in, in terms of where distances are involved that are you know, in between uh, those two values. So, and then it goes on based on this ratio, you might expect that the strong nuclear force dominates the nuclear, blah, blah, blah. You can feel free to read that on your own, guys. It's not really uh, anything major there. They're going to talk about it later in the text, and so will I. All right. So, guys, this concludes uh, chapter four. Thank you so much for joining. I really do appreciate your time, and I really do hope that this is helping. If you wouldn't mind giving us a hand, just hit that subscribe button and uh, tell everybody about us. You know, tell your friends, tell your uh, classmates, tell your mom, tell your dad, sister, brothers, everybody, you know, anybody and everybody. The mailman, doesn't matter, right? UPS delivery guy, that's cool. All right. So anyway, thank you guys very much. I look forward to helping you in the next chapter. Take care.